I'm running on maybe two hours of sleep, maybe two and a half hours of sleep. I'm tired, but I'm alive. Working on the magazine all night, you just can't sleep when there's work to be done, can you? This is day 75 of It's My Life 365, and I'm here in Grand Basson, Cote d'Ivoire. I'm travel writer photographer Brendan Vanson, and this is my daily adventure. Welcome to It's My Life 365. Despite not sleeping last night, I actually feel kind of okay. <laughs> I did get about two hours of sleep. I'm not much of a sleeper anyway. Usually I'm a five hours a night, six hours a night type of guy. But the magazine is to its draft portion, which means it's over at some editors getting edited, which means that it's out of my mind for at least a couple hours. So I'm going to spend the day exploring Bassam, not the beach, but actually the town. This was actually the old French capital before some disease hit and, and everybody decided to move the capital over to where is now Abidjan. So yeah, let's go check out Bassam a little bit. So I'm just heading down to what they call ancient Bassam, old Bassam. And my first stop is going to be a costume museum. I tried to go to the main museum in Abidjan, but they told me it's closed because it was ransacked during the war. So this is probably as good as I'm going to get. Tu manges comme ça toujours? Je prends un gâteau, s'il vous plaît. C'est combien? Cinq ans? This is like the West African version of the donut. It's basically fried dough. I can't get enough of them. Perfect breakfast. So this was the old governor's house and now I'm in the governor's old bathroom. He's got a, a bird bath, old toilet, bathtub, and apparently he thought up the his and her sinks. So the museum was interesting, probably worth the entry fee, which was a dollar. It was a donation really, but interesting masks, interesting uh, outfits, and probably the coolest part about the whole thing was actually the wooden sculptures that they had made to put the, the outfits on. So. Yeah, very cool place. I'm gonna go wander around this old town a little bit and then see what's what's up. It looks like it's a little bit beat down, but still might be an interesting walk. So Basan basically sits on a little finger of land that stretches from the mainland. So over here is a little bit of a river and then on the other side is, is where the ocean is. So yeah, it's a little cool spot. I think it probably has quite a bit of potential, but I'm going to head back to the hotel and keep working. I'm probably going to walk along the beach to get there. So So I'm definitely glad I'm way down here on the far end of the beach because farther back there there's a bunch of hawkers and salespeople and they don't let you leave without a bit of a fight. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of an interesting dynamic in travel. I love going to places that have tourists because I like meeting new people. But I hate going to places that have tourists because you get hassled like crazy. But yeah, so you gotta kinda choose one or the other. You either have nobody to hang out with, with, which has been the case most of West Africa, or you get hassled all the time. So <laughs> take your poison, I guess. But yeah, this part, of the, this part of the beach, this end of town is really nice, really chilled out, really relaxed. I'm gonna lay down and chill for a bit on the sand. Things are still pretty calm here in town, even though it's the weekend, whatever reason. So I'm just going to take a chill night. It's been a, a pretty good day of exploration of beach time and of town. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. This has been day 75 of It's My Life 365 and I'll see you tomorrow.